So today we're going to learn how to use Linist um, and along with that slope and intercept. So essentially what Linus does is it takes a data set like this right here and it will create a slope and also a y-intercept for that data set. Um, so Linus will, will do both of that um, but you can also do it individually. So there's also a function just to find the slope and also one just to find the intercept. So I'm going to walk you through all of that right now. So first, with Linist, um, do the equals, and then our function is called Linist. I'm going to select our y's, comma, and select our x's, and then cap it off with a parentheses, and that gives us our slope and our y-intercept for the data. Our data right here is a relation between snowfall and shovel sold. So our snowfall is our x variable, which is our independent variable, and our shovel sold is our y variable, which is a dependent. The reason it's dependent is because the shovel sold depends on how many inches it snows. So it needs to know how many inches it snows um, to be able to figure out about how many shovels will be sold. And so that's how you know this is the independent variable and this is the dependent. And so using those values, we're able to get the slope and the y-intercept. And I'll kind of explain what this slope means um, in a second. And so we're going to do the same exact thing, just individually now. So first we'll find the slope. Um, again, do equals. We always want to do equals before we start a function. And so that way the program realizes that we want to do a function and not just text. So slope right here. We'll do our known y's, which is our shovel sold, comma, and our known x's. We could cap off that with the parentheses, hit enter, and you're going to see we have our slope. We'll do that again with the y-intercept equals, and our function for the y-intercept is intercept. We'll take our known y's, shovel sold, comma, and our known x's, which is the snowfall. Cap off that parentheses, and then we see our y-intercept. So the way Linist um, and the slope function are able to find the slope is it takes the data and it's a linear regression formula and so it's able to form a linear trend line and that trend line is what we call the slope and so that's a, a little bit hard to understand um, without any visualization so what I'm going to do is create a chart and kind of show you what that looks like so we'll come over here after we highlight our data we're going to go insert Come over to scatter plot and create a scatter plot. And so you're going to notice that we have all our data points on this chart. So what we want to do is create a trend line, which is what happened with Linus and Slope. They created a trend line. And so for us, we'll select our data, right click, come down to add trend line. So when you do that, we do have a couple options. We want to use linear, since this is a linear relationship. And then come down here and hit display equation on chart. So when we do that, we're going to notice that we have a slope intercept equation. Y equals mx plus b. And I put that over here for you guys. Y equals mx plus b. M in our equation is our slope. So we come down here, our m value is 10.107 for our data. And we come up here, and that's exactly what we got in our Linus function and our slope function. And we're going to see the same right here. In your slope-intercept equation, the b at the end here is your y-intercept. And so we got our plus b, 0 0.1302, and that's exactly what we got up here for our, our y-intercepts. And so 
I had mentioned previously, I was going to explain what the slope meant. And so essentially, what slope is, is rise over run. It's your y value over your x. And so what we have here is just one number. It's just an integer. Um, however, on this side, we have it represented as a fraction. And so what you can do to turn this number into a fraction is put it over 1. So we'll come over here, and uh, basically what you're doing is you, you're doing this and putting it over 1. Um, and the, and the, the reason this is able to work, um, any number divided by 1 is itself. Um, and so this expression remains accurate. Uh, and so basically what we're doing, so our slope right here, 10.107, we're essentially putting that right here. And excuse my handwriting, oop, 1, 0, 7. And so when we see that, we see 10.107 is the rise, and 1 is our run. So 10.107 is our y, 1 is our x. And so when we come back over here to our chart, we have our x and our y's. And so our y is our shovel sold, and our x is our snowfall in inches. And so essentially what this is saying, our slope value, is that for every one inch, again, that's our x value, snowfall in inches, we're going to see about 10.107 shovels sold. That's our y value. And so we can actually see how close this is um, to our, our data set. And so when we come over here to one inch, right there, we sold 11 shovels. And our trend line says we should sell about 10.1, which is pretty, pretty good, pretty accurate. Um, go ahead and erase that. So, just to recap, um, whoops, um, we used Linus and our slope and intercept to oh, yeah, there we go um, to find these. Uh, the data um, based on our chart over here. And um, I hope this visualization helped you guys. Um, and I hope you understand that a little bit better. All right, have a nice day.